Hi guys, it's Rocco here and welcome to our weekly LUNC video where I share with you everything that you need to know about Luna Classic. If you enjoy the content guys, do hit that like button and subscribe. In today's video, we'll talk about Binance burning 1.1 billion LUNC worth over 100 US dollars. This is huge guys, this is very bullish. Apart from BNB, LUNC is the only coin that Binance is burning. But there are a couple of caveats guys, just burning is not going to help LUNC going to become a top 10, top top 20, top 30 coin. We need to see a lot more activities, narratives, whether it's meme coin, whether it's Jewish protocol, whether it's, you know, Terra Casino, whether there's a gaming whether it's the USCC repeg, we need other narratives on top of Binance burning for it to succeed. And burning uh, dormant um, or, you know, uh, bur just burning supply doesn't move the price up. What moves the price up is buying. So if something was like buying and burning, which um, Terra, uh, Terra Casino is going to do with the meme coins, that's what pushes price up, guys. Just by burning all supply, we've seen TFL, LFG burn huge amounts and it is bullish, guys. But in the short term, that doesn't push the price up. So we'll go into a lot of detail on Binance burning and and how long is it going to take if Binance keep burning to burn through the LUNC supply? There's an update from Strat call on the tax to gas. Um, again, I think a lot of the community members don't really fully understand uh, this. So I'll try and give you an update. Again, I'm not a technical guy. I'll just give you a very summary, a very uh, hopefully a short summary of what's going on. We'll talk about meme coins, guys. I touched on narrative at the start of the video. For LUNC to go up when there's not new money coming in, it's not a bull market. In a bull market, if people see that, you know, um, Binance is burning LUNC, they could pile into uh, LUNC and buy it. But there's not new money coming in. We need to try different things. It could be, you know, one of the things I'm pushing with Terra Casino and Rexy is pushing, pushing this uh, meme coin narrative. We saw Solana become the hottest crypto this cycle um, because of the meme drop, meme hype that we saw. Why couldn't LUNC degens push something like that? So we'll touch on that. Cat with hat, guys. And cat with hat, guys, is uh, Terra Casino is actually buying and burning so that's a very bullish narrative um we'll touch on that later on you could you know i talked about the announcement and the price is already going up so check out cat with hat big news on the project i'm working on jewish protocol guys we got gold standard from solid proof which is massive massive news i'm very bullish uh, on jewish protocol one of the main focuses for me for jurist was security and transparency solid proof auditing and giving an outstanding um um, uh, rating for Jewish is huge. Uh, myself, the founder LL69 and Frag did a spaces with them. I recommend you listen to it. I did learn something really important about how to get institutions and, and bigger players into uh, Jewish protocol in the future. So it made me think from, you know, going on these spaces and it's great exposure for Jewish. We're seeing the price of Jewish go up since I, I made that post about buying Jewish. It's up like two, three hundred percent. So we'll do technical analysis on Jewish and, and other meme coins. And at the end of the video, we'll do a technical analysis analysis on um on lunc and i'll share with you my price prediction if, again if you enjoy the content guys do hit that like button i've started making youtube videos again so there's it doesn't come up on notifications i'd really appreciate if you could uh, subscribe and turn on the notification button and just comment below lunc you know we, we we can all play a part in this me making these videos helps you know uh, more people see luna classic and, and the meme coins and hopefully brings attention to it you by just liking and commenting lunc or, or whatever it just really helps uh, get this message out to other people so i'd really appreciate if you enjoy the content so guys let's get straight into the video so binance burns 1.1 billion uh, lunc which is worth 100k very bullish i already gave you a quick summary only on top of uh, bnb binance only burns lunc in a bull market when people see that they could pile into it very bullish for lunc but at the moment like i said the two things there's not much new money coming in so not many people are seeing this and um this we need to see a narrative we need to see you know gaming projects that uh, brings people on chain jurist protocol hopefully brings money from other chains and wants to try out the lending borrowing protocol some of the degen alpha that we're going to have which ll6 then haven't even um shared with the with the community yet we need all those stuff and 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 the other thing is uh, this is just burning of supply not buying and burning We've seen LFG, uh, TFL burn huge amount of LUNC, huge amount of USTC, and the price is slightly up, but it's not going up more because it's not buying and burning. We need to bring in buy pressure. Um, hopefully that explains again. If you under understand it, let me know. I could maybe make a video explaining to you how burning actually pushes price up, but burning supply that's not, you know, maybe dormant supply doesn't push the price up. We need to see buy back and burns, which is what um, Terraport, Terra Casino is going to do with Cat with Hat, which is why I'm so bullish on the project. Um, 
but yeah so that's if you if you're not buying and burning it doesn't push the price up so that's why i said it's great that they're doing it it would be amazing in a bull market but we need to do something so i'm working on the meme coin jewish protocol stuff and um, you if you're supporting lunc try to you know build a game or do something share it on twitter you know just said commenting helps a little bit but if you want to go out of your way for lunc of uh, out of your way to make sure lunc succeed we need a narrative we need to build something that other people coming and brings in new but well, there's not too much new money brings in money from outside of a luna classic into the ecosystem that's gonna push the price up and in terms of supply if you look at how much uh, binance is burning so 1 billion and if you look at the terra uh, luna classic supply it's like six thousand uh, times um uh, what they're burning so it's just simple maths like if you just do again i'm not doing it correctly so you, you need to do 6700 if you just do 6000 roughly there could be other burns as well divide that by 12 it will take like 500 years for lunc to be burned and you know we don't want to wait 500 years we need other actions uh to push the push the price up so it's great bullish but we could do a lot more to um lot more to add to this burn which would make it even more bullish guys so there's been lots of articles posted about that as well in terms of uh, other things on the luna classic ecosystem the tax to gas uh, there has been some issues with the tax to gas guys so stratco and frag doing amazing work guys um there's been some issues the gas fee income on chain will reduce 70 80 percent um simulation dApps kepler station trust wallet will likely fail tax payment changes so there's some concerns genuine love have done the code but it's not amazing work there's some issues that the um, frag and um, uh, strat caller found and um, so it's not looking great but uh, orbit labs the other l1 team so if you've been following us guys i've been interviewing some of the new l1 teams orbit labs are willing to voluntarily review two pool requests moreover they will also dug deep into the concept of tax to gas the genuine labs code so it's not that genuine labs haven't done the work they have done quite a bit amount of work but what they've done can't be delivered so and with the, the the loan governance of paper job they can't actually be paid because they've not delivered it but all the because of the work that they've done uh, strat coal is proposing 50 percent of payment so i agree with this guys and like i said strat and, and frag are the two most important people in the lunc community and just to give a feedback on this maybe i'll, I'll dm him or uh, comment on this um he's saying that you know are, are people caring about the tax to gas i think people do care i care a lot but uh, we don't really fully understand it and and, and i spend that in a full-time group and a lot of it on Luna Classic, I don't fully understand what tax to gas from a technical point of view the issues. I just know from a high level from what I hear from Frag and Stratco uh, on the spaces. I spoke to Frag about it as well. So um, that's my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think. If you know a bit more technicals, let me know. But that's a quick summary on tax to gas. I'm bullish on it. I want it. I care about it. And I'm hoping and trusting Strat and Frag to deliver it and, and from Orbit Labs help as well. He's written this article as well. I recommend you go read it. He goes into a lot of the challenges and the issues. So it's a very good article. I recommend you go read it if you want to learn more. I haven't got too much to say on the USCC Repeg, guys. So we saw that USCC Repeg proposal from Vegas. I had him on the spaces. He's working on the USDC staking. He said, look at potentially months, then uh, hours. Um, he's looking at... Um, implementing um, the USDC staking so I'm going to probably message him give him maybe by mid this month or end of this month and the other big proposal uh, the ceramic USDC repack plan as well I think they're going to have the white paper out uh, first week of November so I'm excited to uh, I have already reached out to them once they do the white paper I'm going to have bring them on and discuss it on a spaces guys so let's leave the uh, meme point stuff I'll talk about it at the end let's talk about Jewish guys so the big news for Jewish we talked about it yesterday is about you know gathering funds from investors and getting the devs paid but last week a big news have been that solid proof have done the audit and has given um uh, Jewish protocol a gold certification which is outstanding guys not many companies get that the audit's been completed which is huge bullish news guys we went on a spaces with them big exposure if you look at their account uh, 200k followers and did that spaces with them myself uh, frag and the founder ll69 very bullish guys if we're trying to do things the right way with transparency and security and I think we are turning heads many people that doubted uh, Jewish protocol are coming back to supporting it as is supporting it guys and and it's for us to deliver you can see the price is going up people that are trusting us can get a better price if you want to wait for us to deliver the project you might have to buy it lower again not financial advice if bitcoin dumps you might be able to get it cheaper as well but you know looking at the chart it is looking very good indeed so very bullish news guys one thing to add up from that space is from my point of view and 
myself um, and LL69 do a spaces every week guys talking about Luna Classic we've got a spaces coming up later on today I'll share a lot more of my thoughts on 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 this later on but one of the big thing for what I understood is he talked about the professionalism about the branding of Jewish protocol and and how we can attract uh, bigger in, in institutions or bigger whales and that's something I haven't thought about I've just been focused on this and Luna Classic community and you know getting the first adopters but that is something for me to consider and and the team to to consider to bring in institutions uh, on board jurors that's one of, that's what's going to get jurors to potentially you know 100 mil or or higher so very good uh, interview really good questions asked i'd recommend you go give it a listen if you want to learn more about jurors protocol um, uh, the other thing from a price point of view like I said we had that Judge Rakoff FUD since then it's up like 300% and if you read my post my target was you know I bought some spot here but buy on this trend change and target around here which is where it's going towards so really bullish a lot depends on Bitcoin and um, uh, a lot depends on Bitcoin and what Luna Classic uh, Luna uh, uh, LUNC does if they pump I think this could be breaking out into new highs so quick update on uh, Jewish protocol very bullish we'll be doing a space is we'll hopefully get some more alpha and also i'll debrief you guys on on the spaces that we do with uh, that we did with um solid proof earlier so guys talking about meme coins I've, I've i've been doing this meme coin challenge where i post updates on meme coins i did a post on how to buy meme coins i was surprised to see some people don't know how to buy meme coins on the lunc chain so really quick step guys you know if you can't buy it dm me dm rexy um dm l069 we can try and help you guys how to buy meme coins and jewish pro uh, jewish uh, jewish as well on and other coins on the Luna Classic chain. But the third coin I have gone for this 1 to 10k challenge, which I'm bringing back to push this narrative, is Cat with Hack, guys. So Terra Casino is going to be burning. And one caveat, guys, I said is Terra Casino is not just burning supply, it's actually buying and burning. So that is where the buy pressure is going to come in. It's only like 40, 50 mil market cap. So very big potential. Again, I'm not saying go all in. You know, it's not a full on solid project. Yeah, it's not like Jewish protocol with you know, investors and um, audience and stuff but it, it, it from speaking to the cat with that founder he's been pushing different narratives guys he's trying to you know he's worked really hard to get this partnership with terra casino to burn his coins there's other meme coins that haven't done the work and if you want your coins to be burnt by terra casino go reach out to rexy go support terra casino and i've been supporting terra casino the terra casino can burn quite a bit of the supply you know i've been betting on it that bet didn't that almost worked guys southampton was winning one nil maybe i'll stop betting on arsenal to lose i'll just bet on my team to win so i've got the spurs game coming up so i'm gonna after recording this video go watch that game that's going to be really interesting but all this burns lunc i talked about you know burning more we need to support binance uh, by burning more and and every little thing helps guys burning more coins so in terms of cat with hat guys uh they're they're doing some nft which is you know a bullish in my opinion they're they're trying to on top of the you know, the casino burns the main thing but you can stake it on garuda and dow dow they've got you know trying to bring external chain rewards into lines and they have got a few more ideas to burn um uh, the cat with hat so i'm quite bullish on this again i've aped in and on top of you know this meme coin challenge as well so hopefully we can see it pushing up the liquidity is low so you can't buy that much but you know the, the risk that you take by buying 40 million it does and take that much money for it to go to you know 500k or one mil market cap so we could definitely see it go a lot higher again i forgot i forgot to touch on this earlier on the, when i was talking about usdc repeg there's been more usdc burnt but again like i said burning alone doesn't help we do need a bit of a narrative but really good work to see 46 million from the mirror protocol burn i think we saw about 300 or 250 million burnt uh, on the anchor protocol side so lots of burns happening the tfl lfg burns to come let's see if we can push on the uh, uh, the repick narratives I mentioned earlier to get more burns uh, Rexy guys so again he's the main guy behind Terra Casino Terra Civita so Cat With Hat uh, is, is going to get burned Cat With Hat plus Terra Casino is Project Moon so Project Moon could help with the meme coin season that I'm trying to push so fingers crossed it all comes together and, and not only we can see Cat With Hat go to a million market cap or higher um, we could see that when people see other people making money, that's what gets them to buy in and, and support. And potentially we see other coins burning as well. So one of the good points Rexy made is you know go support terra casino if you support terra casino more ca more coins can be burnt but also other projects go support not only terra casino go support cat with hat because luna classic community is so small if we, we don't have enough money to 
pump every coin to a million or 10 million but if we can see one coin pump to a 1 million 5 million that will bring in new investors that's actually you know better for cat with hat it's also good for your project so support cat with hat guys support terra casino and you could be next on this support that myself rexy and terra casino is giving and your coins could potentially burn a lot higher so Again, really support this meme coin narrative. I know some people don't like it. And again, you, you work on the technical stuff, the actual utility with your CC repeg, the Juris protocol, the MM stuff. And I'm talking about Redline. He's not the biggest fan of meme coins. But for me, I think, you know, in crypto, whether we like it or not, meme coin and gambling is a massive use case. And hopefully uh, Luna Classic can get some um, action from that and benefit from that. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about cat with hat and meme coins on Luna Classic. In terms of technical analysis, guys, so I touched on uh, Jewish doing really well. Cat with hat, in a way, is just consolidating near previous all time highs. So there's not too much to say at the moment. This is a big level where it's trying to um, consolidate. What I'd like to see is a big F off green candle here. If we can see a breakout into new highs, so it starts breaking back above here. From a technical point of view, there's not many sellers above here. So you'd expect the price to violently move up. And I could go give a Juris example when Juris started breaking out initially from here again i don't think it's going to pump as much as euros but you can see where it consolidated and then boom and it doesn't take that much money for it to go to like one mil and then when jewish went to 10 million but if cat with hat can go to around 1 million that will be very bullish indeed so that's all the news guys hope you've uh, enjoyed that in terms of technical analysis guys i'll touch on bitcoin bitcoin had a, a bad weekly candle you can see it broke it tried to break out and then it broke below it's trying to push up now i think the the, I think next week is going to be a quiet week where we just chop around here. The question is going to be, do we do this or do we do this? Um, and whatever happens there, that's that's going to be, you know, what happens to LUNC and a lot of the other meme coins like Kuji, Rune, Ave, I like some of the meme coins that I'm buy buying. And then Terra as well. I want to, I want to give a shout out to Terra because, you know, Terra Port and Terra Casino, they've been, you know, supporting the meme coins and I've been supporting them as well. It's literally at the lows, guys. And I think it could push up now. They've had a new a proposal pass as well, which said, have you hope you got your bags full. Rexy posted that. So that's another positive news on this as well so on top of you know Lunkin Jewish is my biggest bag but um, Cat with Hat, Terraport and then a couple of other meme coins I'm I'm looking to get in as well but Terraport would succeed if I if myself Rexy Casino and, and the whole community can get a meme coin season going that's going to be very bullish for the Terraport coin Terra so you might want to get a bag of that as well but yeah coming back to Luna Classic it depends on what Bitcoin does and my plan hasn't changed so from a trading point of view you can look to buy support sell resistance in terms of buying more guys so um this is like a big support level if bitcoin breaks down i'm going to look to ape in some lunc around here or try to trade this breakout and this this was a fake out potentially lost some money if you tried to ape in but if it gets back above here bitcoin above those levels i shared then i think we you know hopefully finally lose this zero and actually push up into these targets level that i had drawn previously so that's my technical analysis hope you enjoyed this weekly video i tried to keep it to 15 minutes but there's lots going on so it's a bit longer video but hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys hit that like button and subscribe and i'll tune in next weekend as well with another weekly update so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another good video thank you very much